Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. In this video, I'm going to be talking about sticky mods. These are very similar to the Windows setting called Sticky Keys. It's an accessibility feature and it allows you to press, I'll uh, go ahead and demonstrate this here. If you wanted to press Alt and Z at the same time, which is a shortcut for the pen tool, or Control and Z and perform undo, you can tap them one at a time. Sequential, it's linear, and this allows you to daisy chain or connect them before you send it to the system. So what does that look like? I'm going to show you here inside of OneNote. I have the full screen mode for Tablet Pro uh, enabled. So we're going to do a couple different gestures. We'll go left, right. You can see key press OSD is displaying these shortcuts. You can see. Uh, so we just made some junk text. Now I'm going to do a three finger tap. This is a sticky modifier. Tap, A, control, A, control, A. Now, that didn't work because I don't think we have sticky mods turned on. Okay, so let's lock here and uh, let's turn on sticky mods and we'll look at the difference. Brilliant work, my friend. All right, control, A. All right, now those things go together. There's audio cues. Now uh, up here, I have a list of what these do. This looks very daunting. It's not too hard, especially because most of us will use maybe four or five keyboard shortcuts frequently in a scenario like this. So we want to use a mouse pointer. We don't have a mouse. So we have an on-screen mouse. This works beautifully as a trackpad. Nice smooth movement, but you need to make sure that you have mouse pointer trails turned on, which is in uh, the properties, more properties of the mouse. So you would go to Windows, Mouse Settings, and this is a bug in Windows, and go to Pointer Options and turn on Display Pointer Trails, put it to short, click Apply, OK. All right, so here we are, smooth, beautiful um, mouse movement, and you have a couple keyboard shortcuts you're going to use on a regular basis right here. So we're going to Control Z, and let's do Control V. Oops, that's C. Control V, and you can see that we're able to handle those keyboard shortcuts very easily. We can see Alt, pinch in, Shift, pinch out. That, that little uh, sound there at the end is telling you that shift is no longer being held down. So if I'm doing this, and let's say I want to do a capital letter, so I have here space, five fingers, over, uh, up here is enter, four finger tap, tap, and I want, to do a, uh, I want to do a capital A, so I would do pinch out and slide over. Oops, let's do that again. Um, pinch out and slide over, capital A, space. And then let's say we wanted to do a capital T, that's four fingers slide up. So we're gonna go out, up. And so this is not a great way, I wouldn't recommend typing this way, although you can. Uh, this is a good way to do keyboard shortcuts with mouse control. And these buttons here you can remove. This, this is just uh, stuff that I use on a regular basis. Uh, this is screen grab and Cortana and the touch keyboard and the win key and escape and these switch between desktops. And over here this disables it and this switches to um, these gestures down here which involve numbers. And tap right here and that makes it come back. So it's pretty advanced. However, the point is that you can now do really basic things like keyboard combinations, hotkeys, without having to map two finger slide left to control Z, and then two finger slide right to control V. You can map it to a broader spectrum uh, with more potential. So I think this is cool. Now, for those of you who use ZBrush, and Photoshop and any program that doesn't support Microsoft's new um, simultaneous pen and touch protocols, API, touch API, 
then this is really good news. And I probably should have led with this, but I will make a dedicated 3D video. All right, ZBrush. All right, so let's, let's make sure that we are down here inside of ZBrush Core, and we're going to activate the preset, and we're gonna hide the pen tool. Okay, so now these are all sticky, and it is only metaphorical, so don't fret. All right, so here, I'm gonna draw on the screen, I'm gonna tap Alt, and you can see I can do some lovely subbing. Okay, and let's hit Shift, and I'm smoothing, adding, smoothing, subbing, and masking. So you can see it's actually really easy to use Tablet Pro with a very natural movement. Now, if you're using ZBrush, you're going to want to have one of these side buttons mapped to uh, your navigation so that you can do, uh, I think this is not set up correctly for this, so let's go ahead and check the settings. This should be set to just 3D modeling, not tap to unlock 3D modeling. And let's go ahead and close this and let's look at this again. Oh yeah. So here the process is hover and release and this gives you really control of the uh, really good control of the zooming and panning functions inside of ZBrush. Something I've spent way too many hours trying to improve and we are finally there. This allows for color picking, very, very fast, easy color picking using sticky mods inside of programs that don't support it, um, which would be like Photoshop, Blender, ZBrush, I think my, uh, um, quite a few, I think there's about a third that support simultaneous pen and touch. It's a lot of extra info. This is really just about sticky mods. Press one of these and they will stay on. Uh, we don't have it set up yet, so you can press Control, Shift, and Alt, and they all stay on, but we are working to bring that to you. Uh, if you're using the pen tool, please help rate us higher in the Windows Store, in the Microsoft App Store. Those ratings go a huge way to helping us, to helping provide. I'm going full-time with Tablet Pro starting this month, and so um, I really appreciate that support from you. And just go to the link in the description for the pen tool. If you find it useful, then please give it a good rating based on its usefulness, not its perfection. And I really greatly appreciate that. All right, thank you for watching. If you have questions, put it in the comment section and I will see you in the next video.